Wade is guarding Bryant. Artest looking, gets it to Bryant. Bryant dribbling, has to put it up with the buzzer. Banks it in! <laughs> he banks in the three! And the Lakers win the game! Good morning, Insurance Syndicate. Happy winning on Wednesday. Good to see all of y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, it is Wednesday. Y'all know what it is. It is the peak of the week. Go ahead and start dropping those wins in the comments. We are live here in the Insurance Syndicate. You know at 9 a.m. Central. Um, it's a little bit different of a show today. You guys can probably see in the description. Had some last-minute meetings come up uh, that are kind of some big meetings that I need to, to be prepped for. So, uh, But still, We've been running this show live every freaking Wednesday for, gosh, I think it's like over three years. We've only ever missed one Wednesday, and that was when me and Tony like were both traveling, so we couldn't make it. So uh, I am committed to y'all. That's why we started this show. So I hope you guys are having an amazing start to your week. Real quick, before we get going, as always, shout out to Viva Virtual Solutions, and thank you so much for being the main sponsor of the show and just really everything that y'all do for the Insurance Syndicate, for our members, as well as Clearview, um, and I know countless other uh, insurance brokerages and agencies that utilize you guys on the virtual assistant side. Uh, shout out to Rob Lopez and Lily Davies. We appreciate y'all. Um, seriously, Lily, I don't know what I would do without you uh, with all this social media stuff that you help us with now, uh, as well as the, the production of this show, um, all the good stuff. So shout out to Viva. We appreciate y'all. If anybody is looking, um, I've seen kind of an uptick uh, in VAs and interest there. And um, I'm, a, I'm a big trend follower. So I see that, hey, if you're looking for a VA, definitely hit up uh, Viva Virtual Solutions. They're awesome. Aaron Todd, what's up, dude? Good to see you, man. Hey, real quick, guys. So like I said, it's a different kind of show here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and drop this. You guys have got me here for a little bit before I've got to bounce. But I wanted to really open it up. Quarter four is here, right? Um, it's pretty crazy. I know any of y'all that are in the Medicare space, you guys are gearing up for the busiest time of your year and where you make probably 75 to 80% of your money. Um, so again, if you guys, I'm not necessarily probably going to be able to, I bring up Medicare. It's probably the one thing I can't actually answer questions on. But if you guys have anything, again, any questions going into quarter four, that or literally, I'm dropping the StreamYard link there in the uh, Facebook comments. If any of y'all want to just hop on the show and, and chop it up for a little bit, I'm, I'm open book here. And honestly, I'm kind of just going to chill. I don't really have any content for y'all. Um, we were going to have an interview. And again, I, I got to cut it short. So we had to reschedule. Um, so apologies on that. But again, I wanted to give you some time if you guys do have any questions or again, Aaron, dude, I see you, bro. If you're still on here, come in, hop, hop in the studio, bro. I, let's let's chop it up a little bit. But again, any questions, anything like that, y'all? I'm here. I'm live. Like I said, it's a different type of show. Um, and I'll be monitoring the comments and everything like that. So you guys just let me know. I'm um, more than happy uh, to answer anything that you might have. What up, Todd? Good to see you, bro. Well, I guess real quick, I mean, we could do, uh, where's our, uh, we could do our, uh, you know what time it is, our weekly wins. Go ahead, you guys drop those in the comments. Let's go. Weekly wins, drop those in the comments. I forgot about my weekly win too. It's been a, it's been a crazy uh, week and a half, y'all. My, my weekly win, obviously, is I, I have a newborn daughter, uh, Gianna. So shout out to Gigi uh, and wifey back home if you're watching this. That is definitely my weekly win. My third daughter, girl dad to the max. So drop those weekly wins in the comments. Love to celebrate you guys. I'm hanging out here just for a bit. Um, I mean, it's five. I'll, I'll probably chill here for another five, ten minutes. Pretty lax. So just let me know if you guys got anything.
anybody in the PNC space, what are you doing for your marketing, for your year-end marketing? Give us some hints about what you did in the Facebook groups to generate leads. Oh, come on, Todd. Aaron, you know they've heard that, and I'll definitely get in there soon. All right, cool. Oh, some tips on to generate Facebook leads within uh, the groups. Well, you got to join the groups. I think for me, um, I was really heavy on on volume um, and just getting into as many groups as I can. Uh, first question a lot of people ask is like, how do you get into the group, right? Especially if I'm not a trucker, if I'm not a realtor or a mortgage investor what, or any real estate investor or anything like that. Um, just tell them why you're joining the group. Just be honest about it. Uh, that's a big thing for me is, hey, look, I am an insurance broker. I am not here to solicit any of your members. I will not DM. I'm only here to provide value and education. Um, so it even starts how you get into the group. Because again, if I'm if I'm BSing them and I'm lying uh, when I'm getting going and, and then you know, I, I get in the group and I start posting. It's the first thing they see is like, oh, this dude obviously ain't a real estate investor or he's not, you know, a trucker. Obviously, you guys know I do a ton in the trucking space um, to where now uh, that group, it's funny. I was just um, replaying Cody Askins uh, interview and it was one of my best interviews probably still to the day. And we were talking about this Facebook group that I had just gotten into. And, and ultimately, I say just gotten into been working it for like nine months to a year, ended up becoming like a moderator and then an admin. Well, now I'm in the main admin and the owner of the group. And we've got like 67,000 members in there. So it was like, I think when I did that interview, it was 33,000. Uh, so, but again, Aaron, to answer your question, man, I mean, it's really just lead with value and education. Uh, education. An, an example, this is property and casualty specific uh, when it comes to truckers. A lot of the questions I would see in these groups, and again, it's been a while since I've actually been in there working the groups, generating the leads. I've got Got my guys doing that now, um, but it really is providing that value where, hey, man, I, I see a lot uh, with RMIS, Registry Monitoring Insurance Services. If you're on the PNC side, you know they're a pain in the ass, and they're like, hey, I just I keep sending this in. I can't get approved. You know, whatever, I'm trying to get active and, and get loads or whatever, and it's like, hey, man, you know, being an insurance, I don't actually solicit them insurance. I just say, hey, being an insurance, I see this all the time. Here's their direct line. I found that it's way faster and more responsive to do it this way versus trying to use that that main email. So again, just leading with value and education, just things that I see maybe in insurance, but I'm not necessarily pitching insurance while I'm working the groups. <laughs> why are ball jars better than regular cups? I don't, dude, actually, I don't even know why I'm such a big fan of, of ball jars, Hanky. Um, I just like, I don't know. There's more water in it than a normal cup, but then you could just get a bigger cup. I don't know why I drink out of ball jars only. Um, any suggestions for... SIE studying. Uh, Ms. O'Neill, could you uh, elaborate on that? SIE studying? I'm not 100% sure what you mean on that. I've watched it. What up, Austin? Dude, that is that interview with Cody is probably one of my favorites, man. It was, and, and a, dude, shout out to Cody Askins. If you guys aren't following him, if you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, uh, definitely go to the guy's got so much freaking good content on there. I'll tell you, that's probably the one thing that I struggle with the most is our YouTube channel. Uh, we've got, I don't know, you guys can go look at it. I'm dropping the StreamYard link in the um, in the comments again if anybody wants to actually hop on and and uh, chop it up on the show live for a couple minutes. But yeah, my YouTube, man, I tell you guys, we've got like, go check it out, the Insurance Syndicate if you don't already and give me a subscribe because I'm struggling there. I've got like, I swear we have like 700 videos or pieces of content out there and like all the shorts, all the long form, our thumbnails are kind of, our thumbnails definitely probably need some work, I would say. Um, but I cannot crack the code when it comes to actually getting subscribers um, on our YouTube channel. So if anybody, hell, I'll, I'll open that up. If anybody knows how to get more subs on YouTube without like buying bots and stuff, let me know. I have people hit me up two months later because I dropped knowledge in these groups. Yep, 100%, Todd. I wonder where you learned that. Hmm. I'll give you a little care emoji on that. Uh, the best ways to get through the investment studies to pass the test. Ooh, I have not taken um, the, are, are you talking about for your series, like six or seven or anything like that? I have not gotten into that. I doubt I ever will just because I I don't think I'd ever be able to pass those tests. Uh, I, I make sure and do my CE every two years. So I don't ever have to take the PNC test again. Uh, some people, if you watched, um, if you watch the interview with Cody that we were just referencing, it took me, my, I didn't pass until my third try. So uh, I am definitely not probably going to get my series six or seven. You can do it. No, I see your comment. You can definitely do it. Uh, my dad, my pops had those uh, when he was rocking with Allstate and passed both the six and the seven on his first try. I was just like, nerd. No, I'm kidding. 
That is impressive, though. Those are really difficult tests. Um, I know, uh, Tacker, maybe hit up uh, Matt Evans. I can't tag him in here right now because I don't have my keyboard with me. Uh, how do you get on the Marquis Who's Who? Uh, so actually, it's funny you asked that, Todd. Um, it was on uh, LinkedIn. So I was just like submitting some base. I, I didn't think anything of it. I was like, there's no way I'm actually going to get selected or anything. And then turns out I get a call like a month later and uh, it was Marquis Who's Who. So they've been published for, I think they're celebrating the, the publishment or whatever you call it that I just got out on. They're celebrating like 125 years. So they've been around for freaking ever. Um, Warren Buffett has actually been published by them. He's got a YouTube interview with them and stuff. Um, I'm sure it's like 10, 15 years old, but they still use it kind of like as the spotlight, like Warren Buffett, which I mean, still it's sick. Uh, so yeah, I just applied on something on LinkedIn and then uh, my girl, Patty, Patricia gave me a call, had an initial call uh, and then was like, okay, you sound like a good fit. Let's do kind of like our inclusion interview. And then by the end of that interview, um, I actually was accepted. Uh, so I actually just met with my um, branding director yesterday and uh, have to finalize uh, editing the press release that's going out next month. Uh, it's funny. I, dude, I'll tell you, though, this chick yesterday, my branding director, she totally upsold the shit out of me and I, I didn't buy anything because uh, it was like $2,800. She And she was like, dude, by the end of it, wow, I'm not going to lie. You, you've just blown me away. And I'm I'm going to get you into Apple News. How does that sound? I was like, shoot, yeah, let's go. I'll get on to Apple News. Uh, and then by the end of it, she's like, yeah, so we have your card here on file and it's just an additional $2,800. And I was like, oh, no, I'm I'm good with where I'm at. Like, I don't need to spend an extra three grand. Um, and then she was really trying to sell me. This is actually a good sales point, y'all. If, uh, if anybody knows me, if you've ever been a group chat with me, you know that I'm rocking an Android, right? Like I'm not even on Apple. And she kept trying to sell me so hard on Apple and how 90% of the people are on Apple at this. And I'm like, I can't stand Apple, homegirl. Come on, Gina. You're trying to upsell me too hard on a product that I don't want. Uh, she did pivot to try to like, do you want to be on the news? Do you want to be on the news? And I'm like, yeah, that's probably going to cost like 10 grand. So I'm chilling. I'll take the publishment. That is how, long story short, that's how I got on Marquis Who's Who. It was just, I filled something out on LinkedIn. And then they ended up calling me and I had to go through a couple of interviews and it happened. So, uh, Android take better picks. Yes, they do. I knew I liked you. I'm dropping the StreamYard link in there again, guys. Um, I'll probably go just here for a couple more minutes and then I do have to bounce. Again, just wanted to, to go live with y'all. It has been years that we've been doing this thing. It's pretty crazy. If you ever found value, if you're watching this, if you ever found value uh, in... The Winning on Wednesday show. Drop that in the comments. Hype us up a little bit. Android all the way, Franco. Yep. See, look, I do. Everybody in Syndicate, I, I just like you guys. I'll tell you. I tell everybody, anybody that I'm rocking with Android, um, I ruin group chats with pride. That's what I do. It's funny. Uh, one of my old bosses, actually, uh, back on the Allstate day, he literally legit one time, like, was threatening to fire me if I didn't get an iPhone because I kept ruining all the managers, group chats and stuff. It was pretty funny. <laughs> the good old days in Allstate. Uh, not seeing any other questions. Franco, you got any questions, man? Anything I could potentially help with? Anybody, again, if you got any Q&A, even um, if you're not catching this live and you still have something, feel free to drop that in the comments. I'm more than happy to, to circle back. Um, you know, once I get done with the the meetings and stuff that I've got this morning. So all will go well. I had a client this week from a network meeting. Nice. What type of uh, network meeting were you going to? You guys all know how I feel about networking. Your network is your net worth. It's not as cliche as people make it out to be. I mean, it is, I guess, depending on your who your network is. But what kind of network meeting, if you're still on here? I'm just curious. I need to start running my agent hangouts again. Um, PNC. What's up, Chakelly? Bro, I miss you, man. I was just uh, commenting on one of your wife's posts. I was like, dude, I've got to bring my freaking daughter up there. She's like, what's your excuse? And I was like, oh. I got a new, I got a newborn baby, but as soon as, as soon as we're good, dude, I would love to bring Laura up there to y'all's, um, I want you call it a rescue or a zoo or whatever. Um, I don't personally, we've got maybe like one market in Michigan. Um, 
I'll hit, I'll, I'll uh, tag once I get off the live here. I'll tag Amanda Clark on your comment, and uh, she's up in Michigan. She's got a ton of carries, and she can assist. Better if anybody else is watching and can do Michigan and um, uh, in uh, for PNC. Go ahead and comment. Yeah, come to this, dude. I really want to, bro. Better and let's uh, maybe we hit another uh, UFC fight or something. That night was so freaking funny, man. If any of you guys haven't met Jaquelli either, go freaking follow Ryan Jaquelli. The dude's a freaking animal. Uh, kills it on the annuity side. Uh, runs a freaking zoo rescue. His wife is a badass. Um, they do an amazing job in the insurance space. But uh, we were, uh, what was that? Was that 8% or SWAT? I think it was 8%. And we have we always get like an Airbnb and stuff. And so we're going to the BB and b and we're going to buy the fights. There was like some big UFC fights. And Ryan's like, the fuck, man? Like, isn't, aren't the fights here in Dallas? And I was like, yeah, I'm actually, I'm pretty sure they are. And he's like, screw that, dude. We literally went, we spent like over a thousand something dollars on tickets. And then we all went to the UFC fights that night. And it was a freaking blast. Uh, it, it actually was 8% because uh, Dylan Corbett, uh, Cody's video guy was with us. And Keith, shout out to, to Dylan and Keith. Pretty sure it was Keith that was with him. Uh, that was a blast. But yeah, I'll get you, I'll get you connected with my girl, um, Amanda Clark up there. What's up, Lily? Thanks for tuning in. Yes, absolutely. Thank you, everybody, so much for tuning in. Uh, make sure and check out our YouTube channel. Looks like Lily did just drop there. Give me some subscribers. Told y'all earlier I was vulnerable. I'm having a hard time getting that thing going. So I love all the content on there, though. All of our show hosts. I mean, shout out to Monday Mindset, Luke Akery, Tuesday Training with Tony. You guys obviously know Tony. Um, and then I was winning on Wednesday. That we've, I think, our longest tenured show by far. Uh, and then we've got our uh, Thursday show with Dave Williams and Andy Arder. Uh, you guys, dude, Ask the Experts is like probably one of the most quality freaking shows. Uh, just the production value in that podcast alone. Uh, shout out to Dave. Shout out to Tom Bianco, too. You guys don't see as much of Tom, but he is um, awesome as well on that team, on that side of things, on that team. And then obviously our Invested American Friday, our uh, old Friday Fuel show turned Invested American with Ali and Alex Sala. You guys are awesome, man. Love that show. Love the father-son duo on that. Absolutely, Lily. Appreciate you. Thank you for the follow. Yes, much love. Much love, Kelly. Tell the team and fam I say what's up. All right, y'all. I think that's about it for me. Again, I just wanted to hop on here, give you guys some time. If you're not um, catching this live and you still do have some Q&A, you want to pick my brain, drop it in the comments. I'm more than happy to circle back around uh, and take care of that for you guys. But uh, without further ado, y'all, peak of the week, right? Keep going. Stay uh, stay. Uh, gas down, right? Keep the goodness gracious. Can I even freaking talk? Keep the pedal down. Keep the gas going. Uh, it is the peak of the week. I appreciate you guys and everything that you're doing. I hope you all have an amazing rest of the winning on Wednesday. Later.